out of the shell. You want to have a pugilistic offense and a pugilistic body attack. So just say, for instance, I have to transition. He throws a shot to the body. Bam, he throws another shot to the body. Boom, now I got him. I can go here. All right, you've seen that. Walk through that again with your guy over and over. Go. Body, here. Now I can walk in. Guess what? Pull the hand back. Try to get in yourself on your feet. Now, what I can do is I'm at high guard now. Temple's covered. I can tip right here, touch him here. Walk forward, touch him here. Roll under, touch him here. Back to the side, touch him here. Here, here. This is a science. Raking here. And we stabbing them. We're not going just loose. I'm a fan of the solar plex. So whenever I throw shots, they are like, it's done. That's how you walk forward. And as he walks back, come here, you throw the shots again. Step in. I'm stabbing to the body. I'm taking the gas out of his tank. That's more effective, unless you catch that liver shot. But for me, hooks are good when they're to the chin. But I like to throw solar plex shots. I like to stab to the body. My fighters hear me say that all the time. Whenever you're at a championship level, you're gonna understand why that's so important. Take the gas out of his tank. That's how you walk a guy down. Walk me down. Lock, lock. Go to high floor. And go. See the steps? Once you throw here, he, once he's let his ammunition go, you go in the high guard, transition into there. Head off the line, here. Constantly head off the line, whether you go over the top, boom, one, two. One, two, or boom, under. Boom, under. Boom, under. Boom, under. Head is always off the straight line. Let's walk that too. Pop, dip in the high guard, in, throw the shot, boom, 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 boom. And that's how you execute transitioning from the Philly shell and going into the high guard, pushing your fighter back with immense body shots, breaking them down. Next. Hey, what's up, guys? Glad you took the time to look over some of the components that are within the Philly shell. Now, if you're a coach and you're looking to educate yourself a little bit further because you wanna work with your fighters in your training camp, here behind me, you'll see the components that are layered inside of this teaching. And they're very in-depth and detailed. And one of the things that the Philly shell is really great for is defense and counter punching. So if you want to improve your fighter's offensive cachet and defensive prowess, your best bet is to go with the Coach's Edition, which is amazing and teaching the counterpunch skill set. If you're a fighter, your objective is to figure out how do I execute this in the ring? You really need guidance from the coach. It's really hard to teach these things just looking at a video and then transferring it yourself. So you definitely need a second set of eyes to make sure there are no holes in your game. From that point, you know, with coaches, when we go get licensed to become coaches, they don't teach these type skills training. And their focus is to keep it on the rules. So we learn tons of rules and all of the things that you must know for your fighter. But when it comes to skill development, these are the programs that will benefit the coaches and the fighters. So that's what we got here. Like I said, if you're a fighter, you know, we have a fighter's edition. If you're coaches, we have the coaches edition. This will benefit you in a major way. My name is Coach Eric A. Bradley, and I thank you guys for watching. This is Master Boxing. You're going to learn the Philly shell, the rolling shoulder, and how to work inside of the box. So long. Be blessed at God's speed. Peace.